Everyone can stick their arm out really quick. We're going to see how coachable everyone is in the room. Uh, if you can stick your arm out super quick, and then just go ahead and bend it right here, and then you want to snap it at the top, and then just pat yourself on the back. Great job. We need those every now and then. So, uh, today's going to be really fun. Uh, we always look forward to this time of year just because uh, the work that we get to put into the summertime, as you guys know, it is rigorous stuff, and it is probably one of the hardest internship programs your son or daughter decided to do for their summer. So, great job raising them. That's awesome. <laughs> so, we're here to just hand out some awards. Um, we're going to make this pretty quick, and just to get us going here, um, we're going to give you guys a little bit more background about our company since um, I know some parents are always more curious about info as we move forward. So, uh, as you guys know, this summer, uh, the summer of 2020 was really a, a record-breaking summer for our company. Um, even during COVID, our company ended up having the best year it's had in the last decade. So we grew about 48% from 2019 during this whole pandemic. So uh, thanks to just the hard work of, of your students and uh, just being adaptable with COVID. Um, we're also really proud to say that no one caught COVID during the summertime. That's a win. That's awesome. So we kept our students safe. Yep. It was just very important to us that not only our students were safe, safe but the families that we were meeting uh, were safe as well, and we were able to help them and serve them um, regardless of this whole COVID thing. So we were very flexible. And one of the probably the biggest news of this summer actually is uh, we ended up every year we compete with hundreds of campuses around the world that we work with. Uh, the, the way they rank our students, we're very no one's competitive in here, right? Of course not. So every every year they, they rank our students based on the profits uh, that came from that individual campus. And so here at Nebraska, we've always been ranked in the top 20 for the last consecutive 25 years in a row. So we're very competitive Huskers. However, we want to be more like our volleyball team here in Nebraska, not our football team, right? <laughs> Touchy subject. Rough, rough loss. <laughs> Way to open up the season. Uh, but we did it this year, uh, the year of 2020. We're Last numbers are coming in here still, but we're pretty uh, confident that UNL uh, is the number one campus in the world in the Southwestern Advantage program. So let's give our students a hand. That is pretty cool. That's, pretty awesome. that's, a, that's a big accomplishment we're really proud of. We haven't done that since 2001 was the last year that we brought that home to Lincoln. So we're very excited to uh, present the Career Center here with a check that we donate to the campus that wins the number one spot. So that'll be coming up in the spring. Uh, in the meantime, I always like to talk about uh, our family of companies a little bit, so I know some parents are, are not as familiar with it, but I think it's really important to know about just the career opportunities that uh, your son and daughter have really uh, options here post-graduation. So for those of you guys that don't know, Southwestern Advantage is actually one of 18 uh, companies that make up our Southwestern family of companies. So our company was founded in 1855. So we're pretty old, and over those uh, 165 plus years that we've been in business, we've actually created a variety of different companies that are in a number of industries. So for example, we have a uh, real estate company, Southwestern Real Estate. We have Southwestern Investment Group uh, that does investments. There's an office in Omaha. We have a uh, fundraising company. So anyone remember your son or daughter uh, doing the cookie dough sales back when they were in maybe grade school or something? Popcorn, raising money for some kind of event. That was actually Great American. That was one of our companies. that They did about 80% of fundraising across the US. Uh, we have an insurance company, a tax division company, um, and so on and so forth. So we actually have a clothing company that makes like professional men and women suits. It's pretty neat. Uh, I'm sure you guys are pretty familiar with Men in Black the movies. Uh, we actually made all the black suits and tailored them for that for that movie. Or The Great Gatsby with Leonardo DiCaprio. We made those suits as well. So we just have a variety of uh, companies. The reason this is very helpful for our students as they go on to graduate is when a student completes a summer in our summer internship program, they can actually interview with any of our sister companies. So not only really does it open just one door for career opportunities, but it opens 18 plus doors for their careers going forward. Uh, one of our companies that we're really proud of is Thinking Ahead. Uh, they're a, a headhunting company. So what this means is if we can't uh, find a placement for your son and daughter in our family of companies within one of our companies, uh, our Thinking Ahead company is in charge of helping finding our students jobs outside of our companies through our alumni network, uh, through other companies that are hired uh, to, to help these students find jobs. So. 
Um, my brother actually just found a job. He worked in our summer program for four years when he went to college, and he wanted a career change. And so thinking ahead just placed him in an awesome job. So it's cool that our students have the opportunity to have that kind of uh, company working for them to help help them find great careers post-graduation. So um, obviously here though, we're, we're here more for uh, our students, so not a history lesson, so I won't bore ahead. But just so you guys know, if you guys have any questions afterwards, feel free to come up to me and, and ask me about it. Love, love chatting about it. So uh, today we're going to focus more on our Advantage program uh, and our students. So we're going to celebrate their success. And you guys should have those little pamphlets in front of you that has a list of awards that we're going to be going through today. And we're going to try to keep this quick because we have a lot of students to recognize. Uh, but to understand really what these awards mean, uh, we're going to have a couple of our students come up and share with you guys what, what does it mean? What does a gold seal gold mean? What is a top first year student? What is a chairman's club? Just so you guys have a better context as we're recognizing our students. So for this, I'm gonna bring up Kelsey, Kilpatrick, and Mr. Seth Hood. You guys come up. Yeah, let's give him a hand. Yeah. Good afternoon, you guys. It's kind of funny because Danny and I were just talking a minute ago about how, like, even last year, there was like probably half the amount of people in this room, and like, we actually have a stage this year. Like, what? <laughs> so it's honestly been super cool just to see how our, our program has grown and just our organization itself. All right, so Seth and I have quite a few of awards to get through. So to help us out, we're going to be reading some really nice descriptions here. <laughs> So just to keep it short so we don't get long-winded for you guys. So um, Seth, can go ahead and start with the gold award. Okay, so the gold award. So Southwestern Advantage has a long history and a proud heritage. Should not be much of those. Happy to know. For over 150 years, young people have picked up the sample case and ventured out on their own to challenge themselves, develop skills, and have an opportunity to test themselves in ways they never have experienced in their young life before. Many of the young people appreciate gaining a new perspective on work ethic. The Gold Award, along with the Gold Silk Gold Award, are the two most prestigious awards given to the young people who participate in the summer. The students who have won this award demonstrated this work ethic, for they have worked a minimum of 70 hours every week for the entire summer. Every person who has ever carried a sample case knows the level of respect and the level of accomplishment that comes with a significant honor. Okay, and then the, okay, well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the gold seal gold. Um, the winners, these winners were the people who were willing to go that extra mile. Put in that extra time, knowing that they have committed to the level of excellence that certainly is not required in any way. But it speaks volumes about the young people that have earned the Gold Seal Gold Award. These people work 80 plus hours every week of the summer. The Superstar Sample Case. In the field of selling, there's no, there's one trait common to all great salespeople. They have learned how to use their time and how to work with intensity during that time. There's a world of difference between putting in hours and putting something into those hours. To win the Superstar Sample Case, a student works over 80 hours a week and also demonstrates the products to at least 180 people a week. We don't require anyone to win this award. Those who win it require it of themselves. All right, the Guts Club. So this award goes to the, those young people who have worked more hours and have more demos in their last week of selling this summer than in any other week. In most cases, that is over 85 hours a week and over 185 people demoed. It takes guts and a strong mental attitude to work that hard during your last week. Guts stands for Guaranteed Unbelievably Tough Salesperson, and the winner of this award are just that. The I Want to Win Award. The next award is a very special one for recognizes the qualities and characteristics of people who are strong finishers. The world is filled with people who can start something new with a great deal of excitement, enthusiasm, and effort. But the real challenge is not how a person begins, but how he or she finishes. When the excitement has worn off, the qualities of discipline and desire to improve become most important. 
At Southwestern Advantage, a principle we promote is that it's not how you start, it's how you finish. The I Want to Win Award is symbolic of this principle. To receive the I Want to Win Award, a student must have his or her best week in sales in their final weeks of the summer. Sprinting across the finish line of a marathon is not easy to do, but then again, these are not ordinary people. Okay, Powerful Profit. Our Powerful Profit Award recognizes those students who did exceptionally well in sales this summer. For a first year student, they must have a gross profit of over $7,000 to earn this award. In subsequent summers, $12,000 each. Oh wait, sorry. In subsequent summers, $12,000, meaning the summer after your first summer. There you go. Um, each person that wins the Powerful Profit Award receives a marble desk weight uh, to remind them of their outstanding accomplishment. The Heart Award. Students have found through the years that when they genuinely care about others and have a big heart, they'll have a larger impact on the families in their sales territory. The Heart Award is presented to students who had five or more weeks during the summer with 100 plus sit down demonstrations. This means they treated people extremely well and people chose to spend 20 minutes of their day with these people. Okay, President's Club. To qualify for membership to the President's Club, a student must do over $7,500 in retail sales in a single week, twice or more during the course of the summer. Selling at that level translates to more than $3,500 a week in personal profit. This next spring in sales school on the last night before departing for the education field, members of the President's Club go to downtown Nashville where they will join the President's, uh, the President of Southwestern Advantage for an elegant private dinner held in the honor of Tennessee's only five diamond property, the Hermitage Hotel. The Chairman's Club Award. The Chairman of Southwestern Families Companies got his professional start by spending his summers carrying a Southwestern sample case, house to house. The students that achieve the, the sales level of Chairman's Club demonstrate initiative, persistence, and resiliency. So much so that they generate over $4,500 in personal profit for themselves, two times, two times or more in the summer. Okay, the Sizzler trip, so Shane is going to talk more about this later, but this award goes to the young people who did well enough this summer to earn an incentive trip at different levels over Thanksgiving break. Students will fly down, well, in this case it's after Thanksgiving break, so not to confuse anybody. Students will fly down <laughs> to Riviera Maya, uh, Mexico, and stay at an all-inclusive resort for five days of some true fun of the sun. We would like to recognize those young people at this time. <laughs> Not quite. Uh, next is VIP trip. The VIP trip is presented to the first year student dealers who finish the summer with 2,500 or more units and to student managers who, student leaders, who finish the summer with 4,500 or more units and or hit the growth award, which means you increase, they increase their production by 1,100 units or more from their previous summer. Students are also given the opportunity to earn levels of the trip through various sales and recruiting contests throughout the year. Depending on their production, students can earn up to four levels of the trip, winning their airfare, lodging, or even bringing a guest on the trip. Yeah. Only we could have just left this on the stand there. No. <laughs> um, so top first year award. Each year there is a group of first year students who finish in the highest rankings in sales. That is the top first year sales award. These champions finish in the top 10% in competition with hundreds of their students, or other students who've come to sales school for the first time. They understood the value of discipline, persistence, service, and teachability. Each of these young people sat in sales school this past spring with all of the other first year people, each planning to be at the top when the summer was over. As usual, however, when all is said and done, there was a lot more said than done. These students may made few promises in sales school because they were too busy learning everything they possibly could. The one promise they did make was to themselves to do the very best they were capable of doing. All right, stick with us, we're almost done. <laughs> so next is top experience salesperson work. So these top experience dealers were competing against all the other experienced veterans of the book field, education field, some of whom have had five, six, eight, or even 10 summers of experience. These are people who applied what they were taught in sales school, but who added, who added 
and extra dimension, a daily commitment to excellence. Okay. Oh, All right, top team leader award. Our next award is a leadership award. It involves taking a group of people through sales school and then helping them become a cohesive team of salespeople so outstanding that they earn a company-wide ranking. This award is the top team leader award. In addition to the responsibilities of setting a good example in their sales, these top team leaders also have the task of working with, teaching, counseling, and coaching first-year dealers for success. This means that in addition to working long hours each day, selling on their own, they put in one or two more hours of management time helping their team members to have a good summer. These student managers are unselfish, and they believe in people, they are disciplined, and they are team players. The Growth Award. The most special of sales awards for student, student leaders is a growth award. How much one sells is not nearly as impressive as how much they grow. It is not where one is in life, but where they are going. Regardless of how many books someone sells, Southwestern gives much deserved recognition to those who improve from, from one year to the next. This improvement shows tremendous maturity, for this is competing with yourself to strive to the next level of excellence. Cornerstone Award. This next award is Southwestern's recruiting award presented to those student leaders who demonstrate superior recruiting skills. The first award in this series is the foundation for the rest of the recruiting awards. It is called the Cornerstone Award because it marks the beginning of a, of a future sales organization. To qualify in sales school, student dealers must recruit a minimum of five people for their personal, personal teams. Spencer Hayes Award. The people we are about to recognize later are, are those that distinguish themselves by recruiting a 10-person team. The award is named after our late executive chairman of the board, Spencer Hayes. Spencer has always taught us, among other things, that you don't build a company. You build people, and people build a company. The people that we are about to recognize later that are building, uh, that are building relationships are the foundation of any business. They develop, they develop these skills to recruit. Okay, sales and recruiting certificates. For a century and a half, South, wow, never heard it worded like that. Um, Southwestern Advantage has bred leaders in the areas of recruiting and sales. Whether the student continues with Southwestern sales management program, stays in the Southwestern family of companies, or decides to make a difference elsewhere, the work habits, business, and human relations skills and ethics gained from the recruiting and sales experience prepared young people, has prepared young people for a life of significant contributions. To celebrate the extraordinary accomplishments and the enormous effort put forth by the students, Southwestern Advantage is proud to recognize select levels of certification in both recruiting and sales. So for sales, for the individuals earning a certificate in sales, it is their dedication to sales excellence and service to consumers and distinguishes them as qualified, successful experts in communications and sales effectiveness, effectiveness, ethics, and business management. And for recruiting, this is earned by individuals dedicating themselves to build people through recruiting, mentorship, leadership, and life skills training. They are all qualified, competent leaders and people. The Appreciation Award. One of the things that our students gain through a summer of selling books is a greater appreciation for what they have in life already. Our banquet celebration is about what the students learn and earn. It is about hard work. It is about developing insight into those things that are far more important than just earning a great paycheck for a summer work effort. One of the byproducts for the young people in our business is for them to realize that there, there have been some very special people in their lives who have been working a lot longer than just 12 weeks to provide them with the opportunities they have been given. So for, so for one very special week each summer, our students have a chance to dedicate their week to someone else. It truly is a chance for them to take the focus off themselves and to work diligently for a very special loved one, friend or significant other. To earn the appreciation award, the students have their best week of the summer to date that particular week. By doing so, they have an opportunity to present a small token of their appreciation to those special people at the awards banquet. And those are the awards. Thanks for hanging in there. So we're going to bring up Shayna, and she's gonna talk a little bit more about the Sizzler Trip and Service Project.
And before I hand it over, I just want to give a quick shout out to my grandma, my papa, and my mom back in California. <laughs> Okay, thanks guys. That's probably super helpful for all of you guys that have heard of the different awards that your son or daughter are going to earn and don't really understand them. I know it's always helpful for me to have a quick refresher. So, um, Sizzler Trip is, so I have a squeaky voice, I'm sorry about it. Um, but Sizzler Trip is a really huge honor for those that have earned it um, because it's based off of your son or daughter and their production in the summertime. And there are different levels that students can earn of Sizzler up to having the whole trip just absolutely paid for. Um, and that includes their flight, that includes the hotel, the resort, the food, everything that goes into that trip um, and on down to different levels. So when students earn this, they get to go to somewhere tropical. Historically speaking, for Southwestern Advantage, it's typically in like Mexico, that area. Um, this year it's in Puerto Vallarta, uh, which is super exciting and one of the the most important things about this trip is not only do students get to network with other students, about two to three hundred every year, that are from all over the country, they also get to spend a portion of their time, unselfishly, um, at part of our, next slide, right? There we go, um, our service projects. So in the summertime, there's another week that is dedicated to our service project, and students don't have to be part of this and students can be part of this. But they can choose to donate money towards our service project that students take part in on Sizzler. So in our service project, that's where we get to take a couple hours out of a day, one of the days at Sizzler, and we actually get to give back to the community that we're spending our time in. Every year it's a little bit different on what we do with a service project, um, from building schools for those that don't have them, um, to building libraries to doing tons of different things. Um, so it's really cool for your student uh, to be able to give back while also enjoying five days that are paid for. So um, now I'm going to bring up Danny. All right. Sizzler, yes, Sizzler is a good time. Does not get old. Uh, sweet, so I'm gonna get us rolling today. Uh, with our recognition, and I get to bring up Mrs. Aisha Gamboa. That's a familiar last name. And then we'll have our students, if you can uh, stand over here, just enter the side, and then we're, we're going to brag about you a little bit. So if you don't like to be on the spot, oh, today's going to be rough. <laughs> Sweet. So I can talk about Aisha. So Aisha um, just finished her eighth summer in our program. Uh, she was a top freshman her first summer and a top experienced person every summer after that. Um, what a lot of people know about Asia. she's actually, uh, she went to school to be a teacher, an educator, eighth grade in math, bless her heart. And uh, she worked here at LPS down at Moore Middle School. Um, during that time when she was teaching, she actually still decided to work with Southwestern during her summers off, uh, just because of the passion and how much she believed in what we do. So um, she, she didn't feel called to, to teach uh, for her career, so she actually uh, came back and is now working with us full time for the last couple years now, and um, Aisha's just a very passionate person. Um, even though she's not working for LPS, she's still educating um, our young college students today and just having good work ethic, good values, principles, and she's a strong woman of faith. So, a uh, great role model for all of our kids. Uh, this summer, she led one of our top boards, top organizations, and more importantly, she led one of the top teams in the company. So her team uh, ranked top five out of about 800 teams around the world. Her team finished number five in the world. Holy smokes, so, um, very impressive. So um, not only has she just excelled in, in the sales part of our program, but she's obviously excelled in our recruiting part of our program. Uh, she's the first person in our force organization to win the Spencer Hayes Award. Uh, in, a very, uh, in the last, uh, it's been like nine years since we had a student earn that award. So thanks for your work, H. Rose. You're awesome. Let's give her a hand. Southwestern. 
Um, and we're very lucky to have Mackenzie. She was actually one of the student leaders in our organization this summer, and we couldn't have done it without her. So um, Mackenzie was actually the number one first year in the world her first summer out of 1,500 dealers. And um, we're super proud of her. And this last year, I think Mackenzie experienced a little bit more of um, challenges and discouragement, some heartache. <laughs> Um, but persevered and came out on top. And the way that she worked through that, um, the two words that came to mind were grit and grace. Because Mackenzie has so much grit, just stick with itness, and so much grace in every situation. And um, I asked some people that she got to live with this summer and work with this summer. And Mackenzie's just a light for all of those that she gets to work with and just pours her heart out to everyone. So. We're very thankful for Mackenzie, and obviously you guys can see from her awards, um, she's the top experience dealer, um, won the Sizzler trip again, and so we're just very thankful for Mackenzie for all of the work that you put in. So, congratulations.
From the time that Brayden was selected and like to our first training meeting, Brayden was literally asking so many questions. And he's the type of guy that just wants to know how everything works, he's an engineer, right? How everything works and how it fits together and what happens if I do this and this and this. And so what I appreciate about Brayden is he's just always, always learning and wanting to grow, eager to learn. And um, we know that the most coachable student is going to come out on top at the end and Brayden was definitely that. Um, he got to live with um, Nick this summer, and I actually had Nick say some words about you, Brayden. So, um, he said that he was one of the most positive and uplifting guys he's been around. No matter the situation, he always has the ability to look at it in a positive light and make it better for everyone. So, as you guys can see, you want a Sizzler trip, mom and dad's appreciation, and um, it's really cool because Brayden does really well working for others. Mm. So he's also very service-minded. So congratulations and thanks for all your hard work. speak much louder than his words um, and he's just a man that if he says he's going to do something he's going to do it 100 um, percent and you guys can see his successes this summer um, he never stopped never gave up and um, this semester he actually started off really strong and he's one of our um, in school front front leaders um, for our student leadership program so i'm super proud of him and I also had Tanner um, say some words about him. He said, over the past several months, I've seen Antonio start to grow into a sharp, polite, and hardworking young man. He is going to go far in life, whatever he ends up doing. And I believe that with my whole heart too. So congrats, thanks for your hard work. She's like, hey, is there anything that I can just like get so I can look through it and just see what we're going to be covering? <laughs> and I'm like, yes, we have a training manual, right? So Hannah is like one of the most inquisitive and just like learners that I know. And I really appreciate about her because that means that she's always learning and always growing. And the other thing I really appreciate about Hannah is her faith. She's a strong woman of faith. And um, I know that that carried her through the summer. And Hannah also had some ups and downs and um, really trusted in the system and just held firm to that. And her hard work and perseverance in that just helped her come out on top. So I had um, Mackenzie say some words about you. Your laugh is contagious, your determination is amazing, but most of all, the love you give others is unmatched. You're destined for greatness, so go live your greatness. <laughs> so we love you and we appreciate you. Congrats. Kelsey 
sixth summer, which is crazy. And um, her first summer, we actually got to live together. <laughs> so it was Kelsey's first summer, my third summer, and it was one of my favorite summers that I will ever remember. We were in New York. And um, just Kelsey in all of her essence, um, she exudes love and self selflessness. And um, anytime you're around Kelsey, you just feel at peace and better. So um, I really appreciate her. And the past few years, she's been building um, our UNK and our central schools. And so um, what better person <laughs> to have as a role model for those students than Kelsey? Um, I had one of her first years, actually, Jenny, um, say some words about Kelsey. She has been one of the best people in my life. I never thought that living with someone in such a positive atmosphere would make you grow as much as I did with Kelsey. Truly best to have her in my life as a leader, but most importantly as a lifelong friend and best friend. And um, I am incredibly grateful to have Kelsey in my life as a coworker and as one of my best friends. So thanks for all your hard work and the best is yet to come. Exciting. to go up to their room and put this on their mirror and tell themselves they're awesome every day. 
Um, so when I met Jenny, she said she wanted to make a big impact and she wanted to help people believe in themselves and she didn't know what avenue she wanted to take doing that. But whatever she does, I mean, this girl's gonna make a splash. Just saying. So, um, blessed to know her, blessed to work with her, and I'm excited to keep learning from her over the years. So. All right, Jonathan. <laughs> so, uh, this is one of my favorite stories. So, <laughs> John um, is a physics major. <laughs> and it feels you know John no he's a physics major right <laughs> so um, and when we he was going through the process it was like how the heck am I going to do this you know I wanted to be an engineer you know and uh, I was like I don't know John <laughs> I mean, tell him how bad you want it and this kid he against all odds he bet on himself this summer and he never ever gave up never and you know, he had to go through a lot of awkward conversations and learn how to communicate really well, but um, as in all my years in this business, I, I can't say that I have seen so a person who was so scared to face so many fears and be successful. Um, so I'm incredibly proud. Oh, and I, I do have a message from your roommate, Weevil, we, Mr. Weevil House, who's not here at the moment. Um, but he said, uh, kind of a long one, but John is one of the most perseverant people I have gotten a chance to work with at Southwestern. I got the opportunity to see him grow immensely throughout this last summer. At the beginning of the summer, there were plenty of students that I say they can handle the tough challenges of selling books or whatever, but not at all follow through on it. John was one of the strong-willed and driven students who followed through. He faced many obstacles during the summer, and we faced them together as a team and as roommates. I'm glad I got the chance to live with John because I felt like he didn't mind opening up to me and our group. I think this openness and transparency helped all of us grow. I'm excited for John because I know that he has some big goals in the future and has a love for what he does. With the newfound confidence with this summer, I know he will go a long way. Sorry I couldn't be there today to celebrate a good summer, but I'm proud to have had a spectacular summer with you. So, congratulations John, I'm super, super proud of you. Uh, 
and I was told by Shane and Kelsey that Taz was a really great guy. Boy, were they right. Taz has the biggest heart and is so full of joy and humor. He has been such a pleasure to get to work with, and apparently he can play basketball pretty well, too. I'm so thankful for Taz and can't wait to see what's in store for him next. So, Ms. Shana Short just finished her fifth summer, which is awesome, and um, I never had the chance to live with Shana, which is kind of crazy, um, but Shana, I am very fortunate to be working with her. Um, this last year, she actually went down and started our um, KU group, and it's pretty cool because they, just after one year, were a top 25 campus out of 240 or whatever. Um, so, super proud of you, Shana, for everything that you've done with that. And um, Shana's one of those people that you definitely want in your corner. Like, Shana will go to bat for you through thick and thin, and she is um, incredibly honest and loyal. And so, I just really appreciate Shana um, and who she is and who she's grown to be. And I'm really excited to see what she can do here and just in her life in general. Um, Shahed and um, Cora were two of her first years, and it's really cool because um, Shahed said the exact moment that I met Shana, I knew that I wanted to be more like her, and um, she said that she brings out the best in people, and she is my role model, which is super cool. And then Cora, um, she said she filled the absence of the mom figure that I needed in the summer. She was there to straighten me out when I needed a firm talking to and push me to become the best version of myself. And that's something about Shana, she's like incredibly organized. So if you look at her calendar, it will stress you out because her to-do list is like 10 to 15 things every morning. Bless her heart, I can never do it. Um, but that just shows the type of person that Shana is. She like, if she says she's gonna do something, she'll do it 100% and um, she always follow throughs, follows through. So I appreciate you. Thank you. Okay, that's fun. I'm gonna keep this rolling. Let me take this one here. All right. I'm gonna bring up Cora. Oh my gosh. So I need to talk about the students that I personally recruited, worked with, trained. Um, one of my favorite things about recruiting is that you get to be someone's person. Um, and yes, there's a business that goes behind this job, but it's, it's really about people. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to keep my emotions in check, which is strange. Um, but Cora is one of those girls that very much so mirrors my personality. And if I had to put a word with her, I would say perseverance. Because this girl has gone through hell and back the last year and a half. And she came out and decided to sell books, which that's a hard choice to begin with. Um, knowing that her family had stuff going on back home, and she was going to go and kick some ass this summer um, and prove to them that she could do big things. And all summer, she was crazy consistent and continued to persevere and learn how to be vulnerable with other people that way she could be coached. So I am super proud of Cora for hitting all of the awards that she did, but more importantly, opening up and learning how to be really strong in her vulnerability. So, super proud of you. Because 
from the moment I met her, talked to her, selected her, to now, she is ridiculously different. And a lot of you guys, if you get a chance to meet her, she is just a people person and will win you over as soon as you meet her because she is so curious about who you are and where you came from and why you are the way you are. But when it comes to this summer, I almost didn't take her out. <laughs> I was like, oh, I don't know if this girl can do it. Um, for a lot of different reasons. And what I love about her is her fight. When she wants something, it is hers, whether you know it or not. And this girl obviously has a ton of awards. Um, but she did two summer classes in the summer. She didn't have a super strong start, but if you looked at all of her numbers, it's crazy. She had I went and won. She earned President's Club in the last two weeks. She went through a ton of trials this summer um, that a lot of students never have to go through, um, purely by just the way that she looks, um, which created a lot of PR. And I could not be more proud of her for how she kept handling herself and being a leader this summer um, without the title, which we all know that titles are they're earned and they don't really mean much if you don't earn them. So I'm so excited to be working with her and Corb and Kesman both in this part of this leadership program. Um, but I'm just so proud of her fight. She's got a lot of it. So she fought for it, and here we are, continuing on another summer. So, Yeah, 
family. You guys travel from? I'm coming from Saudi Arabia. From Saudi Arabia. Oh, yeah. Yeah. for you for your trip so you know the cash price that's awesome um hey Alexa so good to see you all right so I can talk about Alexa uh, Alexa is from Grand Island Nebraska the island great little metropolis um and I actually I met Alexa in a kind of uh, not normal way my dad actually taught her uh, driving lessons and she was he was just so impressed by this young lady who was just so mature, so independent, so driven, uh, that he, he knew what I did, he knows what I do, obviously. So he reached out to me and was like, hey, I have this young lady who you should really talk to about Southwestern. I think it might be a good fit for her. And that's how we got connected. It was actually through my dad that way. And, um, we, she was one of the first people that we selected for last summer. She was selected uh, a September of 20, of like last year. So really early on, and um, I, I've been impressed ever since. So I, I've got to know her pretty well. Uh, over that time, and this summer, the word that comes to mind, Alexa, is just tenacity, tenacity, and you're just a, a wayfinder. Um, she was one of our few students in the summertime who actually did the whole summer on foot. Okay. Wow. Wow. So a lot of you guys, let's wow. let that settle in doing this job on foot all summer. Um, I did it for two weeks my first summer, and I said never again. So just the tenacity and the power this girl has is unbelievable. Uh, she had a quick start to our summer where she would actually uh, lead our first years and customers. Uh, like the first couple of weeks, uh, first years would be like, I got 10 customers, I got 12 customers, I got eight customers. And Alexa was like, I got 24 customers. <laughs> Just off the bat, we were like, holy smokes, who is this chick? So we were just, we just dumbfounded the whole summer of how she was able to work that hard on foot. And, uh, you know, we have different schedules for people that walk, and so they can take more of a break, but she just chose to keep trucking along all summer long. And it was just, she, that's what she expected for summer. So she had a great summer, um, powerful profit, gold seal, gold work, worked 80 plus hours every week uh, on foot, and we couldn't be more proud. So I'm just so proud of the woman you become and the woman you continue to grow to be. So congratulations. Really proud of you. certified stud. Uh, our first summer, she was a top first year. Not only just a top first year, but she was the number four rookie in the whole world out of about 1,500 last summer. So just an incredible, incredible work ethic that she had last summer with a lot of problems, amen? Quite a bit of problems, but she, she eats problems for breakfast. Um, and then this next summer, uh, when she came back, not only did she, was she determined to grow in her sales, but she was determined to help impact young people the way that she was impacted. And so she was dedicated to bringing out a team. Uh, this last summer, she brought out a seven person team as an in-school student, being a full-time student, uh, which is what helped her win the Cornerstone Award uh, for people who bring out five as a student, uh, which means she got to be a part of the President's Club dinner with Dan Moore, president at sales school this year. Just to kind of give you guys some context there, we haven't had someone do that as a second year student since 2012. Uh, so she had just an incredible, incredible recruiting season. On top of that, both, both, both her first years finished being top first years. Uh, she brought out her boyfriend, Zane, we'll talk about him back here, total stud as well. Um, and she, she finished with a top five in-school team in the world 
Um, where she, they competed with about 500 around the world, so she took, finished top five. Just incredible. Uh, so not only did that winner the Sizzler trip, the VIP trip, all the trips, uh, but she won the GRG trip, which again, we haven't had an in-school student win the GRG trip. Uh, honestly, I, it's gotta be at least a decade. Uh, so she actually gets to join the CEO of our company, Dustin Hillis, the president, Dan Moore, and about 15 other students from around the company to Costa Rica in December. So congratulations, Lenny, we're so proud of you. Uh, but above the work you do, it's just, we, we all love working with you and the heart you have and how easy it is to get along with you. So thanks for being here. Congrats, have a great summer.
So they were really excited for their oldest son to go out and sell and just go have a great experience. And that wasn't necessarily the case. He kind of had a rough first summer. Uh, and that's really what I appreciate about Justin the most, is even though he got his teeth kicked in a little bit his first summer, uh, he was just so determined to come back and figure it out and grow and help uh, impact others. And he did. He just finished uh, with his best summer ever, hit the growth award, the top experience student, VIP trip. And uh, most importantly, just the, the heart and desire to share that impact with others. So he brought out his little brother, Nick. We'll be talking about Justin again here, actually, later on. Nick, that looked like, um, just finished his second summer. And uh, Nick's first summer was actually excellent. <laughs> Nothing like his brother's. He crushed it his first summer. <laughs> Uh, some, some about the second child, I don't know. But uh, he had a great first summer. And um, Nick, Nick going into the second summer, I know he was, he was, even though he had an awesome first summer, he was so intentional about making sure that this next one was even better. And so uh, what I love about Nick is he's just such a student of the game. He's always asking questions and he's always wanting to get better. And even during this off season, when I'm back at school, he's asking about how can I get better next summer? What can I do next summer to get better? And holy cow, I mean, you guys can see one of the biggest things, biggest accomplishments this summer that Nick had is he was our, he's got, our, I believe, our record or close to breaking the record for the biggest jump from a first year summer to a second year summer. Uh, so his first summer he finished about 2,400 units. And this last summer he just finished up at about 6,500 units. That's a 4,000 unit increase. To give you guys an idea, he gave himself roughly about a $28,000 raise. Uh, from first to second summer, so just absolutely incredible. And he did that while leading uh, an awesome HQ, being a top leader in our organization. Um, and what I'm most proud about Nick is that he's grown a ton in his faith and he's really become a man of God, and um, I couldn't be more proud of him. So we miss you guys. Wish you guys were here with your parents. We love the Weeble House clan, the family, great group of people. So let's give him a virtual round of applause. And because Justin's not here, I get to talk about Crystal. Someone's got to take pictures. We're going to take a selfie. Even better. And yeah, we'll do the selfie. That's great. So I get to talk about Crystal. Um, Crystal just uh, finished her third summer. 
oh my gosh, it makes me feel old. So she's finished her first, uh, third summer in our program, and uh, Crystal is uh, a student from Omaha. She just had her best summer ever this last summer, and this year she actually took on the crazy task of being a co well with Seth Hood. <laughs> and um, this is something that we don't normally ask of people that are that young in the business, but the reason we always like to give Crystal more and more responsibility is because she's a leader and the kind of person that, that we know can handle it. So. Uh, her second summer, she got to be my uh, AOL, and we let her work together, and man, we are like yin and yang. Uh, I am very much not detail-oriented, and she is extremely detail-oriented. So, I mean, it was two peeps in a pod. It was awesome. It was a great summer. And so, um, not only did she lead a great HQ that year, but she also helped run an awesome organization this year. Um, her and Seth were nominated for being OLs of the year, um, uh, or getting recognized for, for an OL award this year by our director of sales, and I was in her first year doing it, so uh, definitely very impressed by her leadership, and, and I'm so excited working forward with you. So one of the things I love about Crystal, she's just not only very sharp in her work, but it's very sharp uh, just in everything she does. She's actually a Gates Scholar, if you guys know what that is, so the Susan Buffett Scholarship is very popular here in the U and in the Nebraska area, right? Um, the Gates Scholarship is funded by Bill and Melinda Gates, where the student gets to go and go to school wherever they want for free. Uh, they can go to Harvard if they want to. So that's a very prestigious uh, scholarship that's very given to very few students. And Crystal is one of their recipients, which is incredible. So she goes to school out in Loyola, Chicago. She decided to leave us. <laughs> Broke our heart. But we're still working with her. So we're really excited. So congrats on an awesome summer. We love you. Summer, top experience, and he just this last summer he had his best summer ever. Um, 
the biggest thing I love about Seth is, is he's a student of the game. He's hungry for growth. He's not just willing to grow, but he's always seeking it. And it's so cool to see that. And it just shows in his work. Uh, this year, Seth, I think it is official, um, he finished the number one student in our force organization. I think that's kind of obvious with the check set is $42,000. That's not a bad summer gig. Um, but that just, it, it's not about the money, how much he made, it's about the, the work and the grit and the, just the, the leadership that it takes to get there. And that was definitely not something that happened this last summer. It's something that's, that's taken place over the last few years with his growth. So um, he also has led top teams and he's leading our Dome, Dome students. Donuts, they're, they're the moments. Um, and we couldn't be more proud of you. We're going to be talking about Seth later on here because he won a couple other things that we're really proud of, so we'll recognize him again later on. But you're like a brother to me. I love you, dude. Congratulations. Such a good time, like 
such a hardworking um, Sharky, and it's so awesome to see. He's another person who's very willing to learn, and I think in the few times he followed me this summer, I probably answered like a million questions each time, because <laughs> he's just such a such a student of the game, and it, it's so cool to be able to work with someone like this who he, he faced uh, he faced so many challenges. Um, another example of perseverance is this kid right here, because. He, he got sick during the summertime, and two full weeks out of the summer, he could not sell. And so what he did, he stayed at our HQ, he did virtual selling, he literally, he, we have this thing called the MRC, the Media Resource Center, and we have tons of videos on there of like, um, it's like where these advanced sales are online, and Zane literally watched like every single one of them, like multiple times, and um, funny enough, Amidst COVID pandemic, this guy ends up getting West Nile. <laughs> I don't know how that happens, but just the fact that he was, <laughs> just the fact that he was sick and he was also like running a crazy fever and like very sick, and then being able to still do these things at the same time, um, just kind of shows the kind of person Zane. So let's let's give it up to Zane. So just, I've learned so much from you um, over this last year, and um, he's overcome a lot of challenges himself, being raised by a single mother, and just like somewhat similar backgrounds, and it, it's just really cool. It's, Kristoff was actually one of the kids I was worried about before the summertime. <laughs> yeah, he mentioned it to me multiple times, so like he was someone I was a little worried about, but it was so cool to see the growth of Kristoff, and um, he was such a, such a critical part of our organization this summer. And, Honestly, your sense of humor is very unique, and I absolutely love it. And Kristoff and I have only met virtually, um, other than like a career fair that we officially we first met at, but um, we didn't really knew each other virtually for the most part until we were out in Kansas City for virtual selling. And I remember meeting him, I was like, wow, you're way taller than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it, it, it's, I think one cool, cool part about Kristoff is he had the shortest summer out of any of our kids. And what's really awesome is, um, we were mentioning that, that award, the I Want to Win award earlier. And for a student to win, so you can win that either your last week or your second to last week. And to win that once says so much about you as a person, that you're willing to be someone to finish strong. And Chris often only win that award once, but he literally won it twice. Stud. So that's, that's <laughs> exactly stud. So to win that award back to back in the last weeks of the summer, it, it literally just speaks so much about you as a person. So um, I love you, Christoph, and I'm, I'm glad uh, I'm glad you came over from Germany. <laughs> <laughs> Still did real, did well, but not quite the summer he wanted. And it was so cool to see because he was one of my roommates um, for virtual selling in Kansas City. And it was so cool to see the moment we got out to Kansas City, literally just turned it on from the very start. You could just see something different in this guy's eyes, and he literally set the pace for our whole organization and honestly a lot of the company in, in virtual selling. And he uh, he was easily doing the best in our whole organization in virtual selling. And once we got out there during the summertime even, like he was such a critical role, um, such a critical leader in our organization. There's actually several weeks where this guy beat me and if you bring someone out and they're beating you, you know, it's like, ah. 
So he didn't only uh, set the pace for our group, like he called, also kind of lit a fire under my butt and uh, um, honestly led to some of my success, success this summer. So. And if I can describe Moyer in a few short words, it's um, authenticity and unconditional love for his people. So let's build down to a powerhouse, baby. students that's going to be uh, growing and, and building our, our group out in Kansas, uh, the Jayhawks out there. So we're really excited to see him grow and continue to impact our people down in Kansas. So thanks for everything you do, man. We're so proud of you. Sweet. Thanks, 
James Eno. You know, you know what up here, brother? All right, I get to talk about James. Let's give him a hand as he gets on up here. Is that an Atticus? Hey, buddy. Happy late birthday, man. Yeah. Um, I get to talk about James. Uh, James, oh my goodness, James Eno. So I met him in the union here in Nebraska. He just finished his third summer. And when I first met him, he was this really tall guy that I uh, was introduced to by his financial advisor. So uh, his financial advisor was actually a alumni of our program. So he's like, hey, you guys should connect. And I was like, that sounds awesome. And so that, that day, I, I never thought I'd meet like, one of my best friends, but he ended up being my first, uh, his first summer, one of, my, one of my roommates, his first summer, along with Paul. And it was me, Paul, and James, and holy smokes, some poor host family that kept us. And it was a blast up in New York. His first summer, he was a top first year student, um, he didn't really have a slow start. James was just really good at just loving on people. Uh, if you get to know James, he just it just brings such a light to the room and just a smile. And he's such a goofball. Uh, and he introduced me to uh, what a bucket hat is. And so in my Latino culture, we don't wear bucket hats. So when he told me before we packed for his first summer, hey, Danny, can I bring my bucket hats as a plural? As in, you have a lot of them. I was like, I have no idea, but why not? And he brought him and he started wearing one each day. I'm like, oh my goodness, this kid's wearing bucket hats. And the moms loved it. It was incredible. He had a great first summer. Um, his second first summer was not the case. Uh, he actually kind of also got his teeth kicked in his second summer. And I think he, he just kind of caught him off guard. And um, one of my favorite quotes is that good times give us character or give us confidence, bad times give us character. Good times give us confidence, 
bad times through his character. And I think he grew a lot in your character that summer, man. A lot. And so, uh, just the tenacity and the will that he had to come out for a third summer to make it right and to do it the way it should be done was just, I was so impressed. This summer he grew um, exponentially. He had a, over 1,500, 2,000 units to his summer. Just incredible. And he was one of the people that actually broke the belief barriers for our, our organization where he started hitting big numbers early on. And that's really what kind of helped other people started doing, doing it right after him. So um, he helped lead an org with uh, Shana down in Southern Ohio. And uh, together they led one of the top organizations in the whole company. Uh, their small group of uh, about 10, 12 students. And it was just a lot to do with uh, his leadership and leading by example, which is something that he's always been incredible at. So thanks, James, dude. I love you, man. You're a stud, and congratulations. She likes to do that with her hair, um, so uh, I think it's blue and green right now, which is awesome. Um, and so I have a lot of respects for Sierra, um, her independence, her character. Um, I know a couple of people have brought up when you know they just weren't quite, weren't quite sure about if you know the person would you know come out and succeed. And um, I think a lot of people were questioning Sierra, but I had you know strong faith in her. And um, every time she says she's going to do something, she does it. And so I have a lot of respect for that. Um, Holden, her first year, um, said some awesome things about her. So Sierra is probably the most independent girl I have ever met. She does, uh, she does not change who she is based on what others think about her. She recognizes her weaknesses and strengths and is a great listener. She would sit there and listen to my crazy stories about the week, um, or listen to me complain, but she wasn't afraid to tell me what she thought. She's bold and confident in everything that she does. Sierra is always looking out for those close to her. I could not ask for a better, stronger, and more confident independent student leader than Sierra. I know that she'll always be there for me and will be a lifelong friend. Looking forward to summers together. So, um, Sierra, I've just appreciated you know, watching you grow and develop and, and become the woman that you are today. So, let's give it up for Sierra. And next, get to bring up Holden. Give it up for Holden. So when I first met Holden, I'm trying to think, it was probably sales school, um, or, or maybe mini sales school. And so I didn't get the opportunity to work with um, Holden this summer as much as I would have liked to, um, he was with the NH group. Um, but oh my goodness, over the last few months, I really appreciated getting to know Holden. Um, he has such a positive attitude. He, uh, he's one of those guys who also wears pocket hats. <laughs> um, and so I instantly liked him. Um, we have a lot of things in common. We both. Yeah, we both study biochem. Um, I don't love it, but I think he might love it, but it, it's a great time. Um, and we play spikeball, it's, we just have, we're, we're cool. Um, so, uh, I really appreciated um, getting to know Holden, his spontaneous personality just makes me so fun um, to work with. Um, his roommate Paul had a few awesome things to say, so I appreciate Holden's enthusiasm and excitement for the and funny things. He had uh, an infectious excitement over the summer for just the little stuff. At our breakfast spot, we would get donuts every uh, Saturday morning as a reward for working hard, and Holden became so excited um, for donuts that it became our whole HQ's favorite thing to look forward to. All summer, Holden had an unbreakable, lighthearted, carefree attitude that made him a blast to live with. Please uh, help me congratulate Holden Cave. Yeah.
and that's how we'll bring up the lead for you. Or Dan sort of introduce it. So, get that go in there. awesome. Oh man. So, this has been a fun ride. So, uh, Alita just finished her fifth summer in our program. Oh my goodness, that's incredible. And uh, she's just been always, all our five years in Southwestern, she's been, the, we always love to call her the mom of the group. She just is, she's a caregiver, she's a nurturer, she loves looking out for everyone. And she does it not only during the school year, but in the summertime as well with the students that we work with. Just making sure that they're taken care of, making sure that they have a, a good place to live, making sure that they're, they're feeling good about their weeks. And uh, man, Alita has such a big heart. And this summer, she just started to find her own way with Southwestern, and she had the best summer so far. It's just incredible. Um, she, she, I think she doubled, almost doubled her previous summer, right? a little over double her previous summer, so just incredible uh, that, you know, someone always tells me, or someone told me once that if you live a life just serving others and helping people get what they want in life, you'll get what you want in life, and I think Aaliyah is just a great example of that, so thank you for what you do, we love you, yeah. congrats. Missouri group uh, when we had, a, we had a bigger group of students out in Missouri um, and when, when we started working closer together man oh my gosh they are fun they're, our job is just get more fun uh, you just bring so much laughter to our group and it's, it's cool to see Tanner uh, work closer with us because we get to work together grow together and it's it's awesome to see that the work that he does close up uh, he's been uh, an OL with Asia this last summer uh, in Ohio and they together led one of the best organizations in the company um, but Tanner's so cool, he, he brings out the best of people. This last summer he brought out uh, an awesome uh, student, uh, two students actually, twin girls from Indiana. And uh, my goodness, it was so cool that Tanner not only did that, but he did it when no one else wanted to. He did that at the end of the recruiting season when people were already kind of letting go uh, and letting their foot off the gas pedal. But he just kept going and it's so cool to see that he had the heart and the grit to want to impact those people when no one else wanted to. So. You finished strong, man. That's just like, that's just what you do. We just appreciate your hard work, man. We love you. So congratulations. <laughs> All right. So um, if you guys want to stand real quick, right now is a good time to stand. So go ahead and rise. Thank you. If you guys want to stand up real quick? Give a nice little stretch break in the middle. As we're going to be talking about going into the last home stretch here, going into the, the finale. So, give a nice little stretch. I'm going to go ahead and have a seat. And if I can have my OLs come up, that'd be awesome. Have our OLs come up, or leaders. That'd be great. And maybe you guys can stand like. Okay, yeah, that's good. Cool. Sweet. We're going to go ahead and have a seat. We'll get to recognize our OLs today. Great, so I get to talk a little bit more about our organizational leaders. So the people that you guys see on stage right now, uh, first of all, let's just give them a hand, please. You guys are awesome. uh, for those of you guys that don't know, um, our, our force organization is made up of, this last one was made up of roughly 75 students. So what we do in order to run our organization more effectively is we break up these students into uh, small organizations. This summer we had five organizations out there in the field in Ohio and in Western Pennsylvania. And our org leaders are the people in charge of those groups. Um, the organizational leader in the Southwestern program is by far the most important position, the most important role, and the biggest responsibility in our program. 
Uh, the reason for that is because they are the boots on the ground. They are the people in the field, in the trenches with our students, leading, helping, guiding, helping problem solving. Uh, these guys sometimes just don't get any sleep uh, helping put fires out. And not only that, but they're the boots on the ground that connect the home office, uh, the office people in Nashville, uh, to the field. And without them, that communication would not be possible. We wouldn't be able to do our job. So, um, again, a lot of times our organizational leaders, it's kind of a thankless job sometimes because you, you take on people's problems and uh, it's your job to, to um, work it out and, and their responsibility is to make sure that every student that they're working with has an incredible experience. Um, so, I mean, a lot of times in OL, you'll find yourself up at midnight on the phone with a student trying to figure out their car issues um, and expected to wake up the next morning at 5.59 with your roommates and, and go back at it. So, these guys are warriors, they're champions. And it's just it's such an incredible job, and we're so proud of you guys. So the fact that our force organization here in Nebraska this last summer grew 96% from the previous summer. 96%. And that is, that is absolutely 100% due to the leadership of the guys and, and the girls up on stage right now. So just let's please give them a hand for the hard work. Um, uh, Crystal, Crystal just finished your first year as an OL, and I just remember when we brought up the idea that we were thinking about putting her in that leadership position, she was kind of shaking in her boots, and we're like, it's okay, you can do it, we believe in you. So she did a phenomenal job. Uh, Lainey brought out the, the biggest team as an in-schooler in our organization, so there was no way we were going to give her uh, some responsibility this summer, and she lived up to it incredibly. Um, Austin is a seasoned uh, OL, he's been doing it for a while, and has been helping lead students, did an excellent job. Uh, working out in Ohio with his students. Uh, Seth also just finished his second time OLing uh, in the western Pennsylvania part of the country. And uh, he led an awesome work, leading by example in his sales and his attitude and his laugh. Uh, uh, Shayna, also a seasoned OL. Uh, previous year, she had a, a, a harder time with her group up in Maine. And this year, she went from having an uh, organization up in Maine where a lot of the students actually left and went home. And when you're in OL and kids go home, you're like, Whoops. <laughs> what? That is isn't wrong. And that happens to all of us. You know, it's just such a big learning curve. And this year, she she um, she brought out one of the top organizations in the company. So she's uh, a nominee for Top Oil of the Year by Mark Rauer, our director. That's awesome. Redemption. Yeah. Um, and then Kelsey, uh, also a season OL. Uh, she, she's not only building the group out in the central Nebraska area, um, but she's also helping with other people's students that she gets to work with. And, she led, led an awesome organization with Justin, uh, who's not here. Love you, Justin. Um, Asia, um, by far one of our best OLs. Uh, she's been doing this thing for a long time, so um, every year she brings out an incredible group of students um, and helps them, helps them do well. Uh, Asia's extremely detail-oriented, and I think what everyone loves about Asia is that she is an incredible listener. So if you guys get a chance to, chance to pull her aside today, just awesome person to talk to. So, Tanner Nappy also helped uh, Asia's group. They worked together as a well this year, and uh, again, together they, they led an awesome org. And then Paul got to work with myself and Lainey, and we were the trifecta, the trident, and it was just so much fun uh, leading a group up in Ohio. So, again, thank you guys. You guys are incredible. You guys are the warriors, the leaders from the front, and we just appreciate you so much for what you do. So, you guys are awesome. Yes, for students, get out here. I, I encourage you guys to, to uh, strive to be an OL someday. It's just such a rewarding job. And, um, and out of all the positions I've had in Southwestern, the one that gave me the most growth was being an organizational leader. So quite, quite an experience. I want to bring up Asia now. She's going to wrap us up with uh, some final awards, our service award, and our ring ceremony. Asia Rose. Um, so, yes, I get to talk about our Yvette Morehouse Award. So, if I can have Seth Hood come up to the stage and Justin online. <laughs> um, this is the award. Yvette Morehouse was actually um, our DSL, our district sales leader, for our first four years in Southwestern. And one thing that Yvette always did so well was she had such a servant's heart and was totally service minded. 
and um, I learned so much from her. So to honor her, she um, is working with a sister company now. Um, but we have the Yvette Morehouse Award, and this is for four years of service. So it's pretty cool. If you guys can see over here, um, they actually get to pick out a successory and get their um, a successory and. Um, they get their name on it with a little gold plate. So Seth just told me that I reversed their words, so I apologize. But um, Seth's then is perseverance. So it says, it is never too late to set a new goal and to reach new heights. Stay focused and let your inner fire burn. And for Justin, he was excellent, apparently. Um, some excel because they are destined to, most excel because they are determined to. So thank you so much for your service, four years of service, and hopefully many more. So congratulations on an awesome year. Yay. And this is a little tradition that we actually started a couple years ago. Um, we actually have rings, and they determine different promotion levels within Southwestern Advantage. So Seth, you can come on back up, and Danny, you can come on up. Um, so at OFL position, you become an employee and you get health benefits, dental, stock in Southwestern, we're a private company, and all of these things. Um, and so Seth and Justin actually earned the silver ring, it's the Jedi Knight symbol for the Force organization. And um, we're very, very proud of them. And then Danny won the black ring of senior DSL. So. We are very proud of them. There's other levels. ASL is a rose gold, FSL is a gold, and then DSL is the black. So these are just the little things that we can wear and um, be proud of our accomplishments and the people that we get to serve. So congratulations, you guys. Um, slightly over time, I wasn't going to mention that, but you guys will be so um, excited that we went over time for this part. Okay. <laughs> so, um, are there some awesome people in this room? Some awesome students and kids? Totally. And um, it is not overlooked that great parenting has a ton to do with this. And um, for all of you parents in the room, thank you so much for your dedication to your students. Um, to your kids and sharing them with us um, over the summertime because we do love our job because we get to work with all of the students um, that have accomplished so much and are just a really high caliber, high caliber people. And um, we know that parents have a huge part in doing that. So thank you for raising awesome kids and sharing them with us. So um, this is the um, part of the appreciation award. So if a student won moms or dads week, um, please come up to the stage, and each person gets about 20, 30 seconds to talk about why you work for your parents and um, appreciating them. So uh, come up to the stage, please, if you see your name on the screen. Hurry, hurry. And um, we will roll through this. So um, I love both my parents. You guys heard this all the time, so I'm going to move on. All right, so... What I appreciate about my mom and my grandparents is they definitely instilled uh, solid success principles into me, work ethic, and a service attitude.
encouraging to be all the morals and principles I need to be a successful woman in life. So let's get a question. Um, I did it because my mom is super awesome. She's super woman, really does everything for me, always no questions asked. And the only way to repay her, there actually is no way because she's my heart, my soul, my rock. And so for everything, I dedicated to her. Love you so much, Mom. Especially in my situation, and I care about both of you guys very much too. But sorry, mom, I'm on dad's week. Uh, so whether it's from driving like two hours once or twice a week just to watch me at high school track games, or whether it's helping me learn all the uh, character lessons and everything I need to become the person I am today, there's no way I can pay either of you guys back just from what you guys have given to me. So I hope one day that I can at least come close. Thank you. First off, 
just thank my parents for getting together. It wouldn't be here otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> but I know really, I don't think I've ever really noticed them take a sick day in their life. I don't remember the last time that happened. So from a very early age, uh, teaching me how to work uh, with lawn mowing businesses, helping out with that dad. And just uh, never really pushing me to do anything I didn't want to do. And just knowing that the future was bright and we ended up here. So doing pretty well. So thank you. I uh, won Mom and Dad's week, and I just want to thank them for um, raising me for 19 years. Um, they worked really hard for those 19 years, so I figured I could work pretty hard for two weeks. <laughs> Part of my success this summer was just due to the support and constant belief in me from them. Um, just want to thank you guys for everything you taught me and uh, growing me into the man that I am now. Um, sorry, Mom, I won Dad's week. Uh, I set a challenge for myself really quickly and definitely wanted to motivate myself to work very hard because you guys didn't raise the
when you're in the middle of it, when you're in the thick of it in the summertime, and it's getting really tough, and you don't want to keep going. Um, sometimes, like just thinking about how proud our parents are going to be of us by finishing it and seeing it through is really what gets us through the summer. And I know my first summer, and I'm sure I can speak for a lot of kids here, is picturing this award ceremony really got me through the summertime. So, so thanks for being here. It means a lot to our students. So, um, parents are a huge part of our program, and it's not only just the students' work ethic, but it's it's the, the support from back home. And we know that when a student has support from back home. Gosh, it just makes everything so much easier, right? So this job is hard enough as it is. Uh, having having uh, no support from back home, uh, this just it doesn't help anyone. So thank you guys for your support, supporting your son and daughter. Um, I think it's really cool that they chose to do probably one of the hardest things they could choose for their summertime. I think that speaks a lot about their character, uh, their grit, their work ethic, and I think it speaks a lot about the kind of children you guys raise. So uh, students, if you can help me just one more time, just let's recognize the parents. Um, we, it, just, it, it doesn't go overlooked, I promise you. So, especially for those parents who, who are seasoned parents. So, uh, for multiple summers, it's not easy to have your kick on for the summertime. So, I know the Burks here, I think, are the, I think we got the whole, oldest bunch, right? Is, in terms of years in service, right? Eight summers, right? Burks? Yep. Yep, eight summers supporting. So, that is so cool. That is so cool. So, thank you. Um, yeah, thanks for coming, guys. Um, at the end of the day, uh, just to share the mission of our of our company, of our program, it's simply to be the best company in the world at helping young people develop the skills and character that they need to achieve their goals in life. Um, so we, we look forward to doing that again next summer, and we're so proud of our students for the, for the work they put in this last summer. So thanks for coming. Uh, drive safe, please. I know there's some rough weather, and there's a lot of treats in the back. That, I will, I will have to finish myself if there are any leftovers. So, and Sizzler's coming up, I can't do that. So, real quick, um, if we can have our students come up to the front for a nice little photo, that'd be great. Thanks for coming, guys. Have a great rest of your day.